All right, thanks for clicking, guys, and welcome back to my EV journey. I've always wanted to uh, install a lip spoiler so I can have that Model Y performance look. And uh, I'm really excited to share a product that I was able to find locally. This is actually a carbon fiber like uh, spoiler. And uh, we'll go ahead and show you what's in the box. And they're located in the Oakville area. So if you are close to the GTA or if you live in Burlington, Hamilton, Ontario, of course, uh, this is something that you could probably even drive by and pick up locally. And perhaps maybe you can get an even better deal by doing a local pickup. So let's get into the video. I actually purchased this um, and I will be giving an honest review on it. This is from Shiny EV. So you can go ahead and check them out, shinyev.com. You can find them on Facebook, you can find them on Kijiji. And of course, you can find them on their website as well. I already installed from them the license plate mount, as well as uh, the pedals, the performance pedals, which I really like. And so I'm really excited to actually try this one out and uh, see what the quality is like. So let's go ahead and unbox it and see what we find inside. As you can see, uh, we have the carbon fiber uh, design lip spoiler. And the material of this lip spoiler is actually ABS. And uh, this is actually an advantage because being ABS, it'll last a very, very long time. And I'm told that this design will not fade. It will not fade, it will not discolor, you won't lose the design. I know that uh, with some of the OEM, real carbon fiber real carbon fiber is always nice however with uh, the resin that they've coat the uh the lip spoiler with sometimes it uh, it fades and it could chip over time uh, however with this product while it's not real carbon fiber you will run into those issues where you'll have fading and discoloration so that's actually a plus and it'll last a very long time now the question is will it fit like the oem spoiler that's something that we're going to want to check but uh, here we have the spoiler uh, right out the box. And as you can see from the back, we actually have this 3M tape already prepared for us. We have it on both sides, the top and the bottom of the inner portion so that we can get proper contact and so that it will adhere to the body of the vehicle. But also in the box, it uh, comes with uh, some extra 3M tape. Uh, we could use it in case this um, adhesive here needs to be replaced. Or we could just use it instead of using masking tape. I see a lot of guys using masking tape to uh, mark the edges of it once they actually dry fit it on the trunk. And this way they can make sure that it's centered on the vehicle. So we might actually just use it as a, an indication or a marker on the side. We also have here packaged um, a adhesion promoter, right? So we're gonna go ahead and clean, make sure the surface is clean and we'll make sure uh, to use this on the surface before we actually go ahead and pull the backing off of the adhesive and stick it in place. So let's go ahead and go to the car and uh, start dry fitting it. So just like we mentioned in the unboxing portion of the video, we want to go ahead and make sure that the surface is very clean. So we've gone ahead and done that. We've prepped the surface, we've washed the vehicle. We will use the adhesion promoter. Right now, however, we're just going to dry fit it and uh, we'll make sure to use the tape as markers to make sure that we have it properly centered. So let's go ahead and do that. So right away, I can see that this thing is going to fit really nicely. Um, let's just make sure we have it the right side up. It can only go one way. But just for you guys that are probably wondering, <laughs> just like on the OEM version with the Model Y Performance, the idea of the slip spoiler is it uh, sort of angles up. This way, the wind coming off the vehicle can angle up. So I can already see that if uh, the tape sticks very nicely uh, there's no gaps so that's very promising it looks like we're gonna have a really nice fitment here so let's go ahead and measure and make sure that this is centered by measuring the distance from the edge of this spoiler to the edge of the tailgate and we'll do the same thing on the other side and we want to make sure that we have the same distance that'll ensure that this is centered on the trunk so we've got six and a half from the edge of the spoiler to the edge of the tailgate and that's why I just follow that line. Let's go ahead and check the other side. And so on this side here, I also I have seven inches. So I'm gonna take a quarter of an inch away 
from this side, and that should be perfectly centered. So that's six and three quarter. And that's six and three quarter. Okay, so it's perfectly centered. We're gonna go ahead and put our little tape markers just to make sure that we don't lose that center line. So I know that that's my edge. And we're just gonna go ahead and measure again just to make sure we didn't move it while we were fiddling with the tape. So we've got six and three quarter on this end. And again, to the edge of the spoiler and the edge of the tailgate, we've got six and three quarter. And what we're gonna do is we're actually just gonna back up and eyeball it and make sure that it's centered. All right, that looks centered to me. Okay, so now that we've dry fitted it and that uh, we've centered it, we've marked our locations, we're gonna go ahead and use the adhesion promoter and go ahead and make sure that this surface is really nice and clean and make sure we get the best surface possible for the 3M tape to stick on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do one of these. It smells like alcohol. That's probably all it is. Again, just to ensure that that surface is really nice and clean and we get maximum adhesion. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and rub that on there. Okay. There we go. Nice and clean. Okay. And so, and so because we've already marked this, we know that we have our center line. So what I see a lot of people actually doing is they rip this backing off the 3M tape and they just take it all off in one go and then they fit it on. I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to actually take off a little bit of the backing. If I can get my fingernails in there. And just pull it off to the side like that. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other tape on the opposite side. Hmm. Need my nails? Yes, I need your nails, hon. Oh, there. 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 So, <laughs> there we have it. So I've gone ahead and pulled the backing off just to start it. And what I'm going to do is now that I've exposed a bit of it, I will put it back into place. Make sure that we're all lined up here. Okay, there we go. So there's our mark. And then make sure that we're lined up on this side as well. Okay. So you want to come over here. And what we're actually going to do is the tape that we folded back and started to peel off what we'll do is we'll just gently go ahead and take it off a little bit at a time and this way we make sure that we're getting nice and even adhesion evenly as we pull that backing off of the tape making sure that no dust gets in between the surface and the 3m tape that's being exposed Thing. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for the bottom here. I'm just going to go ahead and pull that out. And we're going to apply pressure as we go. Okay, so we're going to pull a section off, apply pressure, keep going, apply pressure, keep going, and apply pressure. There we go. and then we'll remove our markers. There we go. So that's uh, perfectly installed and there's no gaps. So well, here's my honest review of this product, guys. Like I said, I'm not being paid to review this. I actually purchased this with my own money. It costed us about $120. Again, we picked it up from shinyev.com. They're local to Oakville, so you can actually save some money by picking this up locally. Um, honest uh, opinion, 
it fits really nicely. No, it's not real carbon fiber, but that's actually not an issue because we actually were a little bit skeptical of if it would make a noticeable enough difference to show up on the black paint that uh, we have for our vehicle. But as you can see in this next shot, uh, this carbon look actually is just subtle enough, yet present enough to make a difference. And we actually really enjoy the way it looks and it complements the black paint. Like I said, it hugs the contour of the vehicle very nicely with no gaps. And in fact, anybody that didn't know what they were looking at would actually think that this looks factory. So very pleased with it. Be uh, sure to check out my description below for my referral code where both you and I can benefit from the points. Uh, feel free to use that. And as usual, if you like this uh, video, please like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one.